Hey guys, so sorry it's so dark. Uh, first of all, happy Halloween, or whatever you choose to celebrate on the 31st of October. So in this video, I'm going to be doing my October wrap up and there is a lot to get through. So if you don't know, every month since the beginning of January this year, I do a wrap up where I tell you all of the movies, television shows and books that I've watched slash read in the month. Like I said, there's a heck of a lot to be getting on with this month. So I actually ended up watching 20 films in total. We'll get to that in a minute. Now you know I don't watch movies that often, I do prefer my TV shows so that's insane for me. I've also watched 12 television shows and I've read six books, technically five. We'll get onto that in a minute as well. So let's just start with the movies. So the reason there's so many is because I wanted to do 31 days of vampire films in the run-up to Halloween. Now, as you can tell, I didn't actually manage to get through uh, all 31 just because, you know, life gets in the way and things happen. Uh, you'll probably see my dog in a minute. <laughs> I actually ended up watching 16 vampire films. So we'll go through those first. So on Day one, on the 1st of October, I watched Bram Stoker's Dracula for the first time and I have to tell you I was very, very disappointed. I'm a huge vampire fan, I love the vampire genre. Bram Stoker's Dracula is a classic, uh, it stars Gary Oldman and Winona Ryder who I do love as actors. I just didn't like this movie at all, I don't know if it's because I've left it so long to watch it, I just didn't enjoy it. So. I don't really need to explain the film to you if you know your Dracula mythos. It's, you know, another story about Dracula, but I just didn't enjoy it. On day two, I watched Interview with the Vampire, which of course I have watched before and I adore Interview with the Vampire and Rice, the books and the film, films. I really, really love Interview with the Vampire. I love Brad Pitt in it. I love Tom Cruise. I love... Uh, Kristen Slater in it, and Claudia, Kristen Dunst, is it? Is it Kristen Dunst? I think so. I just, I love Interview with the Vampire. I just, I could go on about that for years. On day three, of course, because day two I watched Interview with the Vampire, day three had to be Queen of the Damned. Now, this gets a lot of stick, but I actually really, really like Queen of the Damned. I enjoy Stuart Townsend's portrayal of Lestat, even though it's nothing really like the books, we have to admit. But I really do like Queen of the Damned. Interview with the Vampire is, of course, the better film. But I do enjoy Queen of the Damned as well. Next up on day four, I watched a film called Vampire from 2011. Now, this wasn't a very good film either, to be honest. So it was about a human, so not a vampire, a human who enjoyed ingesting and drinking human blood. Uh, the basic premise is he encourages people who want to commit suicide and tells them, well, instead of killing yourself, jumping off a bridge or whatever, come back with me and I will drain you of your blood and it will be a quick, painless way to die and I can drink your blood afterwards. It's a very crazy film and I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. Uh, then day five, so five in a row so far, we did well, was 30 Days of Night. Again, it's supposed to be a classic vampire film. I didn't really enjoy that one much either, to be honest. <laughs> um, I've not done very well with the vampire movies. 30 Days of Night, I did enjoy um, the premise of the film, but I think the execution wasn't that great. But I think the only thing I would commend is the portrayal of vampires in this film and the adaptation of vampires, something I've never really seen before, you know, the makeup, the special effects, how they moved, how they acted, something I'd never really seen before, so that's the only thing I can praise the film on, but I just didn't enjoy it at all. Uh, then we skip from day five, the 5th of October, all the way up to the 8th of October, and I watched Byzantium, which I have watched before. I love it. Gemma Arterton, Sir Sharonan, What Could Go Wrong. I love Byzantium. I love the premise of it. I love everything about it. Again, Byzantium is one of those films I could go on for hours for, but I appreciate this probably will run too long. That's why I'm not talking about things in too much detail. On the 9th of October, I watched Dark Shadows, the Johnny Depp adaptation. I appreciate it's come from a television series. I have seen some of the classic TV series, but not a lot. Uh, Dark Shadows is a comedy vampire film, I would say. It's definitely not serious. I love Tim Burton, I love Johnny Depp, I love Helena Bonham Carter, so, you know, all of those together, perfect for me. And I do think it's a good film. In fact, I believe Dark Shadows uh, was a film that I did see in the cinema with my dad when it came out. 
Next up on day 10, I watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the first time. So as you know, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of the television series, and I mean huge, it's my favourite TV show of all time, but to my shame, I had never watched the original movie. Um, and I have to say, I prefer the TV series, and I understand why Joss Whedon was not happy with the movie. Um, Nice, funny, uh, feel-good movie-ish, I suppose, um, but I will be sticking to the Buffy TV show. <laughs> then we move from day 10 to day 12, and I actually watched a black and white movie with no sound, a silent movie, and it is A Fool There Was. Now, it's not specifically to do with a vampire, but as you know, the word vampire doesn't just mean you're, you know, creatures of the night, blood-sucking demons. Vampire in uh, the olden days, you know, uh, back when, also meant a, you know, woman who was sexy and um, a temptress kind of thing. And Theda Barra, who was a classic silent film actress, played the vamp. And it didn't mean vampire, like I said, as in, but I thought it still classed for, classed for a vampire film. Um, I'm not, you know, I haven't watched that many black and white movies. I do aim to correct that. Uh, but it, for, for what it was, it was really good. Um, I can't really talk too much about it, though, to be honest. Uh, then we move to day 14, and that was the Swedish adaptation, I believe the original, of Let the Right One In. Again, I wasn't very impressed with this. Uh, I didn't do very well this month with my vampire films, to be honest. It's about a young girl who is a vampire, obviously not quite a young girl, uh, who meets a little boy. And yeah, I've heard that the novel is better, but very strange. The film was very strange. Um, and I just, I, I don't really do well with foreign language films either. I, I should. I have watched a few. But I suck at reading subtitles and watching the movie and processing it at the same time. I'm just not very good at it. So on day 15, I watched Suck, which is a comedy um, vampire film. And I have watched this before. It stars Alice Cooper, which is the huge draw for me. But it is a stupid film. But I bloomin' love it. Um, on day 16, I watched Dracula Untold. Again, this is another one that I went to the cinema with my dad to see, um, and I do enjoy it. I think Luke Evans is a great actor. Um, it is, an, you know, a, a different retelling of the Dracula mythos again, but I really, really do enjoy Dracula Untold. Then we move to day 17, and I watched finally for the first time From Dusk Till Dawn. Again, another classic vampire film. What the bloody hell was that? I didn't enjoy that either, to be, quite, to be quite honest with you. I don't have a clue what was going on. The first half and the second half seem like completely different films. I don't know if that's what they were going for. Didn't enjoy it at all. Then on day 22, so we've moved from day 17 to day 22, I watched Jennifer's Body, which I have watched plenty of times before. Yes, I know, you might not class it as a vampire film, it's more a demon movie, but I'm classing it as a vampire film, okay? She drinks blood, she kills and eats humans, I'm classing it as vampire, okay? I love Megan Fox in it, I love Amanda Seyfried in it, I can never say her name right. Jennifer's Body is just a great film and I encourage you to watch it. In fact, I'm sure Jennifer's Body has been in my wrap-ups at least twice, maybe three times. On day 25, I watched or attempted to, attempted to watch Dracula in Love. I lasted 10 minutes. Now, I do not turn films off, even if they're rubbish, I don't turn them off. I try and get through it, but this one, I just it was that bad, that shockingly bad. I couldn't do it, I could not get through it. The less said about Dracula in Love, the better. And finally, this technically shouldn't count in this wrap up, but as I'm filming this, I'm going to be watching The Lost Boys tonight on day 31. So maybe it should go in November's wrap up. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to watch it tonight. What can I say about The Lost Boys? Watched it before, easily one of my favorite vampire films. I love it. So that's all the vampire films. We'll get on to the other films that I watched this month. I finally watched Deadpool 2. Uh, Mum bought the DVD from Tesco and we sat down and watched Deadpool 2 together. Really, really enjoyed it. I love Deadpool. Not as good as the first, in my opinion, but I do love Deadpool. The next movie, I'm just looking through my list, sorry. Oh yes, so I went to the cinema with my two friends with the intention of seeing A Star Is Born, which I was very excited to see. Unfortunately, one of my friends, if you're watching, shame on you, arrived late, so we ended up watching Johnny English Reborn in the cinema. And what a waste of my £7.50 that truly was. No, just not for me, I ended up watching it. Uh, the next film I watched this month was Anne of the Thousand Days. Finally, it's a classic about Anne Boleyn and Henry VIII. 
Oh my god, I just love it. Genevieve Budjold, I can't say her name. Azan, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's a, quite a long film, as are a lot of older films. This is from the six. Sixties, I believe, maybe later. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. But it's a very old film, and I adore it. And the last film that I watched this month was The Greatest Showman again. I think I've watched it four times now. <laughs> so it's been in a wrap up before. I love musicals, and I love The Greatest Showman. I really do. So that's all the movies done. Let's move on to TV shows. Like I said, I'm sorry if this runs too long, but there's so much this month. Uh, we'll go through the TV shows really, really quickly. So first of all, EastEnders, every wrap-up, I've said this before, I'm an avid watcher of EastEnders. Next up is MasterChef, which finished this month. Uh, I really enjoy MasterChef, guilty pleasure. Then I've been watching The X Factor, the less said about that the better. Strictly Come Dancing, which just had the Halloween special, which I adore, uh, Stacey Dooley to win. Uh, and then I have been continuing to watch True Blood. I am on a series three now on my rewatch. True Blood, my second favourite TV show of all time. Adore it, love it, love True Blood. Oh, I just love it. Then I finished watching The Cry, which was on BBC, I believe, and it was Jenna Coleman was in it. Fantastic. There was only four episodes, but it was just amazing. Then I've been watching The Apprentice. Uh, I've also been watching Doctor Who. Of course I've been watching Doctor Who. Uh, and I am loving the new series so far, to be honest. I didn't know whether I wanted to do some reviews or anything. We'll just see. Then I watched Inside the Chocolate Factory. What can I say? It's talking about chocolate factories. Uh, then I watched one episode of World's Most Evil Killers. It was about John Wayne Gacy. Of course, I know quite a bit about John Wayne Gacy. I'm sure a lot of you do. Um, I've then watched Dancing Cheek to Cheek, An Intimate History of Dance, which starred Len Goodman and uh, Lucy Worsley. I love Lucy Worsley. And it was about a history of dance, funnily enough. And the last TV show that I have watched is Comedy Gold, uh, TV's Funniest Sketches. I do love my comedy. I love things like Only Fools and Horses. And it was just on about sketches in general. So last up to the books. Again, sorry if I'm rushing, but there's so much. Uh, I finally read book one of The Vampire Diaries. I kind of mentioned it in my last wrap-up. But I have to tell you the truth. I really didn't like it. I couldn't get on with the writing style. I'm going to have to move. My legs are killing. <laughs> I couldn't get on with the writing style at all. And I really, really wanted to enjoy The Vampire Diaries, but I didn't. So I have actually given all of The Vampire Diaries books I owned to a charity shop. I just didn't enjoy it at all. I'm going to give the TV show a, a, a go uh, because I can't judge something before I've watched it. But as for the books, I just couldn't get into them at all. I, I hated the writing style, if I'm honest. So I really wanted to like it, but I didn't. Uh, next up, I read Doctor Who, The Women Who Lived. You will have seen that if you watched my Doctor Who collection update. It came in recently for me. Um, it's just all about the women who have been in Doctor Who, um, and I really enjoyed it. And then the last four books, I have started, drum roll, a Harry Potter reread, of course. So I am sure you're all surprised that we've got to October and Harry Potter has only just entered my wrap ups. I aim to try and do a reread at least once every year. I cannot tell you how many times I've read Harry Potter, but I've read Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, and I'm currently on Goblet of Fire, which is just over there. I'm about a quarter of the way through Goblet of Fire. So hopefully by this time next month, I will have read all seven Harry Potter books. You know, I've got to read Harry Potter, haven't I? So that's it. That's all of the TV shows, books, and movies I have watched slash read in the month. Uh, again, happy Halloween. I am planning on doing some things, so I don't know if there'll be more videos or anything like that. But yeah, sorry this is so long, but I just can't believe how many movies I've actually managed to watch this month, seeing as I am a TV show girl. I tried to do my 31 Days of Vampire films, but it just, it just failed. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.